Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial by EdTechnocation. This video is part of a Google Classroom video series by EdTechnocation. In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow process between teacher and student in a Google Classroom assignment. I'll also explain what happens to a Google document within that process between the teacher and the student. On the left side, we have a teacher view and on the right side we have a student view. The teacher has already created an assignment for the students in the class. In this example, the students are creating a new Google document to type their first draft of their European Explorer essay. On the student side, the student will see the assignment in the stream and can click the name of that assignment to open it up. In this example, the student has to create a Google document to begin their first draft. So I'm going to create a document. It's creating. What I love about the ability to create Google files in Classroom is the naming scheme that's attached to those documents. So in this example, the Google document that I created as a student takes on the name of the assignment and attaches my first and last name to the end of that of that uh, uh, Google document name. Now as a student I can click on that document to open it up and I can begin typing my first draft for my essay. There's a very important thing to notice for the student when they begin an assignment and that is in the share settings. When a student begins an assignment with a new Google document, the student is the owner of this document and the teacher has the ability to view and comment on the document. That's important to understand because those settings will change further along in the workflow process. So once again, as a new document, the student is the owner and has the right to edit and the teacher can view and comment. Okay. So when the student is done with their assignment, they could either use the turn in button at the top of the document, or they can go back to classroom and turn in their assignment with the big blue button. Okay, I'm gonna, as a student, I'm gonna turn in this assignment to my teacher. Give it a couple seconds to turn in and sync up. And on the left side in the teacher view, I now see that one student is done. So as a teacher, I'm going to go into that assignment. And I see that practice student is done. I can expand that student to see their document. As a teacher, I can click and open that document. And I can see that student's work. Now, since the student has turned in that document to the teacher, the share settings have now changed. Let's go check those out. So once the student turns in their document, the ownership for that document changes. Now the teacher is the owner of that document and has full editing rights and the student can now only view. They can't even comment. They can only view the document. Again, the teacher becomes the owner of that document, and the student can only view that document. So again, when a student turns in their assignment, the student loses ownership and the teacher gains ownership. Okay, so the teacher can add suggestions into the document. The teacher can add comments to the document if they choose to provide feedback for the student. Once the teacher is done providing feedback, they can go back into classroom, assign that student a grade, and then they can return that document to the student. When a teacher returns a document to the student, the share settings change once again. So if I go back into the student side and refresh, I notice that I now have my document back. If I were to visit that document and check the share settings, 
you'll notice that the student has now regained ownership of that document and the teacher can now only view and comment. So in this workflow process, you'll notice that ownership changes as the student turns in and the teacher returns. Thank you for watching this video tutorial by EdTechNocation. Stay tuned for more videos in the Google Classroom video series.